Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an excellent day today. Yeah, we've got a new project lined up on the channel and it's a little bit different than uh, anything we've done in the past. So you guys know we've done our Super Squire build, uh, our Ultimate Epiphone build, which is basically adding, you know, high-end hardware and pickups to, you know, more lower range instruments. And then we did the DB caster uh, right there. Um, that was our latest build uh, where we used basically the best parts money could buy and you know put something special together. Uh, so we cataloged that on the channel and after that, um, I forget who asked, but one of you guys said, you should do a series on garage sale guitars. So in other words, like the cheapest, crappiest instruments you can find and you know maybe try to do something cool with that. So with that in mind, uh, here's what we've got. So yes, we've got another Strat, which is pretty much the last thing we need on this channel. We've featured a lot of Strats over the years, um, but when you're hitting up garage sale guitars, uh, beggars can't be choosers, so you just get what's available. Um, so this is a Squire Affinity Strat. Um, there's pretty much one of these in the basement of every household in America, I think. Uh, they've sold, like Fenders and Squire have sold like so many of these, probably hundreds of thousands of these guitars. Um, and so yeah, there's something really unique um, and slightly disturbing about this guitar though. So I'm going to take some close-up shots so you guys can see how absolutely butchered this fingerboard is. Somebody went and removed all the frets. So this is a fretless Strat. Now I'm pretty excited to try a fretless instrument. I've never played a fretless guitar in my life. So from that aspect, I'm really excited, uh, you know, yeah, to see what kind of tones we can get out of this with a, a fretless setup. But whoever removed these frets, uh, absolutely destroyed the fingerboard and all the pits and all the fret marks um, yeah have been filled with I don't know if it's wood filler or putty or something um, but it just looks absolutely horrid now I think there's some wisdom in not picking up somebody else's half completed project um, and wasting a bunch of your own money on it so what we're gonna try to do is not spend any money on this instrument we're gonna try to create something um, that's a little bit unique and cool uh, hopefully without spending a dime now as for the rest of the instrument, it's in fair condition. Um, I do like the sparkle red finish that Fender uses with the rosewood and the white. I think it looks, you know, pretty sharp. Um, unfortunately, it's not in great condition, but yeah, there's a few scrapes and scuffs on the front. Uh, the back's a little bit worse. It does have um, the finish cracks in the, the neck pocket that are common to Fender. Uh, not a big deal that happens on a lot of instruments and it's not a big deal other than, you know, aesthetically it doesn't look great. Um, but yeah, the, the electronics all seem to be working. Um, yeah, so we just have to figure out what kind of mods we want to do to this thing. So here are some of my initial thoughts on ways we could modify this guitar that won't cost us a lot of money. There's a few mods I've been wanting to try and having a garage sale guitar like this uh, is the perfect platform to try some of them. Now the neck itself is really nice, like the back of the neck is smooth, the, the carve is perfect, there's no dings or scratches, so it's going to play okay, but the front is pretty much beyond repair. Like we can't remove all this stuff and refret it, we don't want to replace the neck because that's going to cost us money. Um, so. I've, I've committed to have a, a fretless Strat, so we're gonna do that. Um, but I was thinking about popping the nut out and lowering it down, so we lower the action and putting a set of flat wound strings on here. And for fretless instruments, you want flat wounds because if you use round wounds, uh, it's gonna chew up your fingerboard. Now, on a guitar like this, it doesn't really matter, but I'm interested to see what the, the flat wounds will sound like. So I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna uh, pop the nut out, uh, file it down, lower it and put a set of flat wounds on it. Now in terms of the fingerboard, there's been a mod, well there's a couple mods I'd like to try. Um, I'd like to try to flatten out the radius, just for interest sake, to something like maybe 12 or 10 from nine and a half. Um, and we don't really need the round radius on a fretless instrument, I don't think, because we're not gonna be doing a lot of cording. Now another mod I've always wanted to try is to put ebony stain on a rosewood fingerboard to see if we can darken it up. Um, and I've never wanted to do that to any of my nice instruments, but this might be the perfect candidate. Now, whether or not whatever material they use to, uh, you know, to fill the fret, fret holes, I don't know if that's gonna accept stain. It might end up looking worse, but uh, that's something I've always wanted to try. Um, I suppose we could paint it and then redraw the, the fret lines on, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna look terrible. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, so ebony stain, I think that's that might be another mod we wanna do. Now another mod we could do to this guitar that won't cost us any money is to wire up this secondary tone pot to our bridge pickup. So as it stands right now, there's no way to add tone to the bridge pickup, which seems really weird. So many strats are wired this way, and I'm not sure why Fender and Squire does that. Uh, if there ever is a pickup that you want to mellow out, it's your bridge pickup. So we want to be able to do that, and all you have to do is solder in a little jumper wire. So it's an easy mod. Um, check your strats, and if yours is wired like this where you can't control the 
you know, the bridge pickup at all, then yeah, you could follow along and we can do that mod together. So that's it, you guys, that's what I'm thinking. Flattening out the fingerboard radius, putting some ebony stain on, filing the nut down so it's really low action, putting a set of flat wound strings on, and rewiring up the secondary tone control. Those are the mods that I've thought of that we could do that might be uh, you know, interesting to create some sort of instrument, uh, but I'm really willing to try anything. If you guys have sort of weird or interesting ideas that don't cost a lot of money, let me know and we'll see you know, what we can do with this thing. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel as we go through our fretless Fender project. It should be pretty interesting. I'm not sure what kind of guitar we're gonna end up with at the end, but uh, it should be a lot of fun. All my information will be on the screen. If you wanna sub to the channel, you can click right here. If you wanna head over to the tab store, you can click up there, and maybe I'll put a couple of my other build videos over there if you guys missed them. Have a great week, you guys. Take care.